I'm alive. <sighs> Did everybody make it? I'll be all right. I'm alive, but I can't say much more than that. Feels like I might have snapped a few bones. Yuri! It hurts! That thing Estelle did. It was like Dane Nomos. Must be what happens when you get a few Epithea together at once. Don't try to talk. We're gonna get you both to a doctor. Try and hang in there for a little longer. Thank you, old friend. We owe you so much. It looks like Baul won't be able to give us a lift for a while. No. He'll have to rest somewhere until his wounds are healed. You've done more for us than we could ask. Take care and rest well. Plenty to worry about without thinking about Estelle. It seems we're somewhere near Capo Noor. Let's go to Noor Harbor. There's bound to be a doctor there. Yeah. I don't like that sky. The air is boiling like thunderclouds. There's a mean storm brewing. Battered and without a doctor. That is amazing. Looks like the townsfolk are noticing what's going on, too. I just finished building my house for crying out loud. Look at that. Everyone is pretty much in pain. Carol especially. They're really in an uproar. Not that I blame them. I, I'll bet things are pretty crazy in the capital, too. Probably even more so with how many people are there. Where did you come from? Did you hear anything? No, we were... Why are all of you here? Hey, well, look who it is. It's Teagle, the Beagle. You look terrible. What happened to you? Oh, it's you. We've been through a lot. Do you know any doctors around here? Sure, I know a doctor, but... Well, do you think you might be able to bring the doc to the inn? We're too beat to even walk anymore. Quite obviously. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank goodness you came. He, you've returned from Heliord, then. Yes, I still can't thank you enough for your help before. Now that there's a new magistrate, Nor had become a much nicer place to live, but now with that sky looking the way it is. Hey, mister! Hey, mister! Did you hear it? There was a loud sound like boom, and then everything was shaking like an earthquake. Yeah, that shaking was pretty, pretty bad. A town official is currently going to see what happened. Trust us. We know firsthand. And where's that nice lady who was with you? Is she gone? Ooh. Now that I think of it, that girl would have been able to heal your wounds. What happened to her? A certain worthless idiot handed her over to the bad guy. Now we're chasing after them. Guilt, guilt, guilt. I see. I shouldn't have asked. I'm sorry, but she's away for today. Oh, really? Don't worry, the next time we come, we'll bring her for sure with us for sure. For now, you should just get some rest. Alright. Now, we should talk to everyone. First, we're gonna head outside of the inn. Okay, just walk over here and out. Y Your Excellency, it's horrible. The road, the road is gone. What? There's a giant hole on the other side of the Mead Hill. Well, what did I get? What did I tell you guys? That thing was bound to hit something. What? Just like that? I suppose that was what all the rumbling was earlier. Even if we were able to get near the hole, getting across it would be impossible. 
No one will be able to go past Emmiot Hill like this. So then, Nor is cut off from any everyone else? This is bad. This is real bad. Yikes. So, they effectively cut off an entire city. Yep. Just wonderful. Anyway, we're going back into the inn, and now we're going to go and talk to everyone. Hello, everyone. What do you guys have to say? So it did end up hitting something after all. Thankfully, it missed hitting any of the towns. You guys sure you're all right? No, I hurt all over, but Estelle's in trouble. I can't just lie around. Yeah, what he said. What's our next move, though? If the road to Emmied Hill is out, couldn't we take a boat around? I'm afraid not. A little while back, the Knights came and took any boat that could make a long trip. Thanks to them, the harbor's dead empty. Damn, at a time like this. Well, there is one way, but I'm just not sure how I feel about recommending it to you. If it'll get us through, let's hear it. We've got to get to the capital fast. I'm afraid it'll end up taking you a fair bit out of your way, but if you go north just before Emmied Hill, there's a thin strip of coastline. It'll eventually come to a dead end, but in this season it freezes over and becomes an ice flow. The Blade Drifts of Zophair. Right. If you're lucky, you should be able to make your way across the flow on the ice. If you cut through there, you'll come out in the middle of the continent. The Blade Drifts of Zophair, huh? I heard nobody goes there, not even fishermen, because of the stories. You're also gambling on nature here, so there's no guarantee you'll be able to get through. If that's our only way, then we'll have to go for it. Okay, let's do it. Thanks for your help. Least I can do. There wouldn't be much left of this family if it weren't for you all. The only thing I'll ask is that you don't disappoint my boy. You got it! The Blade Drifts of Zophair. Anyway, let's get this character skit out of the way. What Estelle tried to say. Estelle said something just before her power was fully activated, didn't she? What do you think she was trying to say? Sorry, old Raven didn't catch it. <sighs> Yuri? Eee, so Yuri did hear her, and no one else did. That's rough. Anyway... Let's go ahead and save really quick while we're here. Alrighty, done saving. Now let's go outside and restock. Cause oh, believe me, we do need a whole lot of bunch of items. Okay. Here's the store. Okay, buy apple gel. Zero apple gels, that's great. Zero orange gels too. Didn't use any melange, melange gels. Uh, lemon gels are pretty okay. Pineapple gels I use an excess amount of. Um, holy bottle, I know we're almost out. We can do with a few more life bottles. Holy bottle, very nice. And magic lens is fine. Alright, we're just about done here. Come back anytime. Yeah, 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 whatever. Alright, now... We need to head out of Kapua Noor. Okay, now on our way. It's been a while since we've taken this ru Are these new monsters? I don't recognize that monster. I don't, I don't recognize this. I should feel ashamed for not recognizing that monster because apparently we did fight it before. I just didn't realize it. Anyway, let's come over here and follow the road that goes north. There's Emmiot Hill over there. Let's take a look at it. Eee, that's pretty bad. Look at that. Well, there's no getting through Emmy Hill, that's for sure. Alright, ah, dang it. These things die in like two hits, I swear. Anyway, we have a character skit. Worried about Baul. Baul. Will Baul's wounds heal quickly? My, is that concern I hear in your voice? Well, yeah. I mean, we've been asking too much of him, really. It will take some time, but he should recover. He's quite a fighter, you know. Oh, good. So don't worry, okay, Rita? Alright, I just... Hey! 
I'm the one giving out the sympathy here. You really must learn to control that temper. <laughs> really? Judith was just trying to be nice. Jeez, Rita. You know what? I'm, I'm tired of all this. First holy bottle of the day. Go. I'm, I don't, I'm not sure if I really should be using it here, but all these worthless monsters, they're not even worth fighting for experience, really. Alright, and it's starting to snow. Wonderful. And we're getting some new enemies here. And here we are. The Blades of Zophair. I think I said that right. Maybe. Okay. Um, let me see. Am I, am I going the right way? All these monsters are completely new, but we're going to be fighting these soon anyway, so... I'm not really rushing to go and fight them. Here we go! Let's go! Very cold. Okay, old man, we get it already. The aged have lower body temperatures, you know? Oh, what I wouldn't give for the heat of that desert. You're gonna slip and fall if you don't shut up. Oops, too late. Watch it there. We old folks are fragile. Uh, sorry. Man, this is really some place. Sort of a cross between mysterious and just plain creepy. There are swords coming up out of the ice. Yeah, they seem to be all over. Just what kind of place is this? I thought Zophair got its name from the sharp cold, but I guess I was wrong. I don't think you were too far off with cold as a void. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Ah! Whoa! Huh? Wh what was that? It's big! I is that an Entelikea? No, I don't sense intelligence in it. So it's a monster, right? We'd be in trouble if that thing attacked us. It shouldn't bother us if we leave it alone. Forget about it. Let's go. Or so we hope. Anyway, this place is frozen solid. Really. Let's go ahead and get this for a Tabar. Which is Carol's weapon. Uh, he's still learning stuff on this. So we're going to go ahead and fight this thing. And hopefully learn a few things. Okay, we got all new we'll monsters here. Including that gigantic one underneath the ice. Which we hopefully won't be seeing. Right here we have a Teethy. Really? Really? That is probably the lamest name I've ever heard. Next to that Clucket. Level 44, 18,500 HP, resistance to water, weak to fire and wind. Not too surprising there for a water area. Whoa! Destruction field does a lot. Okay. Now I haven't identified this yet, so this is a Boost Marefish. Level 43, 10,890 HP, resistance to water, weak to fire, and wind just like the other one. Alrighty. Not bad, it looks like a narwhal or something. Okay. There we go. Okay. And done. That was simple enough. Now, moving forward, we should get... Panacea bottle here, along with another new monster. Okay. I'm gonna go, go ahead and fight this here. thing. Just one? Really? Okay. What we have here is a Lime Wreath. Level 48, 21,202 HP, resistance to water, weak to fire. You know what? I'm gonna turn off her splash so she doesn't start using water here. That'd be pretty bad. Okay, in this area, as you might have guessed, Destruction Field is your friend. Really. Very much your friend. Look at that damage. The damage is definitely amazing. Okay.
Okay, we got the Panacea bottle. Now let's keep on moving. Whoa, that thing is creepy. But really, really cool looking in the brief glimpses that we get. Alrighty, now if we come over here, we get a melange gel, which I am going to put back. And I will use one up for the sake of actually having any use out of that. And I probably should have used it on someone else, but I don't care. We got melange gel. And now we are going to save the rest of this area for the next episode. So, I will see you guys next time. Masinella out.